So over the last couple of months, I'm pretty sure you've noticed that I've been growing out my hair, right? I bet you're like, either that, Pastor Kevin, or your eyebrows are getting out of control, man. But hey, before you say amen to that, haven't you heard what other people say about those who have big eyebrows? They say this, man, you got some big eyebrows. What? It's true, right? But hey, check this out. The rock ain't got nothing on me. But let me go back to the topic of my hair now, because ever since Rona hit back in the longest spring break ever, I haven't had a haircut. Now look, of course I couldn't do that before because everything was shut down, but now that barbershops have been open for a while, I still haven't gone. And you know why? No guys, not because I'm cheap, yeah, maybe that too, but really the reason is because of my lovely bride Yvette. You see, she's been telling me for years that I need to spice up my haircut because I've had it since like middle school or something like that. And you know, she's right. Check it out. And the reason I give in is because of the golden rule of marriage. Men, you know this. Happy wife equals happy life. Happy husband equals... Hey guys, how come nothing rhymes with husband? But to tell you the truth, I really like my long hair. I mean, I can go like this. I can go like that. And it even covers the sun from my eyes. The only complaint I have are all these white and gray hairs. But then I'm reminded of what Proverbs chapter 16, verse 31 says. It says this, gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. In other words, folks, I shouldn't be ashamed of that bright light that you see coming from my dome here. If anything, I need to find the silver lining. You like that? Find the silver lining and show off my battle scars from life. Heck, it could be worse. I could look like this. Exactly, folks.